it's time, guys. It's NCAA tournament time, and and uh, we, um, you know, every game is uh, the most challenging game of your lifetime, and it's all great teams. It's all championship caliber teams, and and so we're excited to get going. All right, John Kidd. When you look back to your last NCAA tournament appearance at BYU, you guys were a sixth seed then as well. Um, came up short against UCLA in the first round. Is there anything about that experience that taught you in, in terms of preparing for the game ahead this time around? Um, if I was smarter, there would be. It just seems like that's 100 years ago. Uh, it, and it's such a different team and such a different time and such a different pathway to get into the tournament. Um, so, uh, you know, we'll, we'll just continue to prepare exactly the way that we've been preparing all year long. And, and I got a lot of confidence in our guys. Um, and so we'll we'll just go take a, a big swing at it with, with this year's group the way we're doing it this year. All right, we'll go Sean, Jake, and then Mitch. Yeah, Coach, I'm just wondering if you could uh, walk us through a little bit what the last couple of days have been like for you and your guys when you got back from Kansas City, how you kind of celebrated, I guess, this national holiday that is Selection Sunday, and just what sort of some of the feelings have been the last couple of days as you yeah, – I mean, I, I think it's it's no secret that you guys were pretty safely in the tournament, but still you don't really know, know for sure, I guess, until your name pops up on the screen. So just what have the last few days been like? Um, uh, just mostly focused on us. So we did uh, a pretty heavy debrief of the Big 12 tournament, um, just, just um, you know, where we were good and where we can continue to grow. Where our guys are really excited to keep growing. And, and, um, and then we had a, a really um, – yeah, and so that was, I guess, Friday – uh, it was a light day physically and a, and a heavy day mentally, and then and then yesterday we got after it pretty good uh, in practice, and and then of course uh, today it was a, a rest and and uh, and selection Sunday day, and then we'll get you know we'll get back to work heavy tomorrow. Coach, typically when these NCAA tournaments come around, you get some unique opponents, and Duquesne's no different. They haven't been in the tournament since 1977. I guess, what are your first impressions to facing off against the Dukes? Well, it's a great team. They're the A10 champs, and, and that's no easy feat. I think they've won eight or nine games in a row. They're probably, I don't know what, you know, got to be a top five or six, seven longest winning streak in the country, so they're playing elite level basketball uh, we know intimately how good this Dayton team is and they kind of ran them out of the gym earlier in the tournament so uh, this is a great team uh, elite level defensive team I think a top 30 defensive team um, cause all kinds of mayhem uh, really explosive explosive uh, backcourt um, scoring and guarding and and uh, you know they're A-10 champs that's kind of all you have to say so it's a it's a great team. They're in the middle of a special season, and and uh, it's going to be a great battle. Do you make anything of you guys being seated lower than San Diego State, the team that you beat earlier this year? Uh, I think it's hard to just isolate a head to head. You know, it's you know you you kind of play that game and chase your tail forever. Um, I, I am really proud that we were the NCAA section put, committee put out. Um, their their you know one through 68 list and we were 17 so we were the number one five and so i'm super proud of that that's a really incredible accomplishment for our guys and and uh um you know the seating worked how it did after that and um you know like i said every single team you play in this nzw tournament is going to be great so we're just excited to have a chance to go play mark i wanted to follow up on that seating by does the NCAA kind of explain to you guys why you end up being the six? Is it just simply the no Sunday clause there that, that dropped to the six line? Um, I don't know, and I, I don't know if we'll ever get an explanation on that. Um, it seemed like a significant bump. You know, you would think if, if it was a no Sunday, you know, you would think there's going to be one or two Saturday five seeds. But, um, you know, I think out of the top 36 teams, we we're the only team not seeded correctly based on the NCAA, the selection committee's list. Um, of how they rank teams, but again, guys, you know that's that's you know it's, at some point maybe you guys will find an explanation for that. But the the only thing that matters to us is we're in this thing and we get a chance to go play, and we're playing against a great team, and and we're gonna try and go play great. All 
All right, Jake Hatch. Yeah, Coach, just kind of wanted to kind of get your thought on the mindset of the team now that they know where they're playing and who they're playing, that type of stuff. Um, well, we haven't actually haven't spent any time together. Uh, you know, we're kind of with with our families and just the inner inner circle of the program uh, during Section Sunday, and and um, you know, I'll have individual conversations with some guys tonight, and then we'll hit this hard tomorrow. Um, I think the guys in general are understand the opportunity that we have in front of us and understand certainly our guys are intimately familiar with how hard it is to get there and how many uh, how much work uh, went into getting here and how many epic moments they've had this season to kind of earn themselves this opportunity to play in this tournament and, and we're excited to go try and take advantage of it all right Jay and Sean hey Mark the opportunity to play in Salt Lake City doesn't come around often uh, what's your level of disappointment that you guys aren't going to be playing at the Delta Center? Well, you know, I, I was actually really excited about that. I thought that there would be a five a five seed in there, um, and like I said, we were the the number one five according to the selection committee. Um, mostly, I'm just disappointed for 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 our fan base. I think it it would have been really special for uh, Cougar Nation to be able to be there in that gym, um, but uh, you know. So, so certainly, you know, we kind of had hoped that that's where we would end up. Um, but listen, Jay, it's it's so hard to get in this tournament, and and there's a million different factors, and and the fact we have a chance to go play uh, and go compete um, is what really, really matters to us, and and that's where our hearts are right now, and and. Um, you know, being a part of March Madness is is really special, and it's hard earned, and it's you know an opportunity that you know you at the very best you get once a season, and and um, for for most programs you don't get it that often, and so we're 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 fully of the mindset that we're incredibly grateful to have this opportunity for these guys to have earned this opportunity. We can't wait to go play. A little bit on that note, Coach, have you been able to, to kind of stop and take a breath maybe over the last couple of days or whatnot at just what this group has accomplished even to this point? I know second season is hitting. I mean, it all comes yeah. down to what you do in March in a lot of ways. But have you been able to appreciate a little bit what this group was able to do in their first year of the Big 12 and getting to the, the five seed in the, the Big 12 tournament and that kind of thing yet? Yeah. Well, um, yes, the answer is yes. And it's um, – it's it's um, I couldn't be more proud of our guys um, with what they've accomplished so far, and it just takes about two seconds to get lost in the nostalgia of the moments that they've created for themselves and for and for Cougar Nation and for BYU over the last five months. Um, you know, the win against San Diego State to kind of you know all of a sudden make the world take notice that you know maybe we were more than what people expected us to be, and then. You know the the run at Vegas where uh, we get Arizona State and North Carolina State and two really epic games that worked very differently with a limited roster and all the madness that was down there and it ends up being, you know the the ACC champ right um, and and how special that was is another kind of step in in this growth process and then you think about um, you know the Big Twelve season and and. Uh, you know, um, from beginning to end, kind of the incredible things that these guys did from the ranked teams, you know, from Iowa State, who, you know, has proven how good they are from that win at home to, you know, to all the NCAA tournament teams that we beat during the course of the season, to, you know, a huge bounce back win after Oklahoma State uh, on the road disappointment to get Baylor here and, and a great comeback against TCU and, of course, the historic win at Kansas, which, you know, that just doesn't ever happen very often. And and uh, then getting to jump in the Big 12 tournament, it's been really magical. So you think about those things, but what's the best part is watching our guys grow and just become something more. And, you know, uh, I could take you guy by guy, but you just think about Jackson Robinson's trajectory from where he was last year to what he did this summer to – how much he's grown every single day, every single game here at BYU to a guy like Dallin Hall who, you know, had the whole world placed on his shoulders without a lot of help at the point and, and how he's been able to respond in so many epic moments and, you know, our veteran guys and Spence and Trev and, 
um, you know, watching Noah's growth, it's just been so exponential. And um, of course, you know, Ollie's magic and, and what he's brought here. And, um, you know, that's the that's actually the best part is just watching these guys grow as individuals and grow as men. And um, it's been really special. And, and I think that's a, one of the huge motivations for us is, you know, we're in no place where we have any desire for this to end. And, um, you know, we know that w we have a chance moving forward. And so um, these guys' whole hearts are in it, and they're in it together as a team. And, um, you know, this is a group where their own personal agendas are going to continue to fade away as we move forward. And, and they recognize that, um, that this is a special thing for them to accomplish as a team. So, uh, yeah, for sure. I think about it every day because um, you don't want to miss these moments. And, and certainly these guys have provided a lot of those for us this season. All right, we'll, uh, we'll finish with this. We'll finish with Mitch, John, and then Jay, if you do have a question. Mark, uh, when does the team leave? And um, just also, uh, how busy is this week for you with, or how much are you kind of focusing also on the portal opening up tomorrow and then also planning for Duquesne and, and getting ready for the NCAA tournament? Yeah, so um, our number one focus is is Duquesne. Uh, you know, like I said, we're facing the A10 champ, man. That's that's a big time challenge. It's a massive challenge, and and a team that's red hot. It's super talented, and and has proven how good they are. And um, so that's certainly number one for us. And then, in terms of uh, in terms of the portal, that's always going to be a space in in what we do. But our our number one priority is 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 in terms of forming our roster for next year is to retain our guys and so um so you know it's in that order you know number one is this ncaa tournament because that's why you do this it's why you do it and then uh, number two is continuing to work on uh, retaining our guys and then and then of course we'll be uh, active in the portal like everybody has to but that's going to be a tertiary thing for us um uh, certainly and hopefully uh, we're playing for a long time and, and as long as we are that'll be a uh, you know, a limited role for us. Tertiary is a good word, huh? You guys are impressed. That's a Kentucky education for you right there. All right, we'll finish with John Kuhn and then Jackson Robinson will be after coach. Coach Pope, uh, w when you look at just who you faced in the Big 12 and and uh, just the kind of the re how rigorous the league was, what do you think the, that that just facing that schedule does for this team going into the NCAA tournament where every game is tough and every game seems like it's down to the wire more often than not. Yeah, um, I think it does a lot. Um, you know, it, it, two things are true. One is the Big 12 is the best league in the country by far. And two is that there are so many great basketball teams in this country. And actually both those things are true. And um, certainly Duquesne is one of them. I mean, um, you know, to be on a streak that they're on right now and to win, win that conference tournament is, is just incredible. And so um, I, I think, you know, the, the, the opportunity we have to play in the Big 12 kind of lets us see everything. You, you kind of feel like you've seen everything, at least, whether you've been able to manage it well or not. You've seen everything. And, and, um, and so that's a plus. Um, I don't think there's a lot of names <laughs> that show up on the bracket where you're you feel intimidated for sure um, just because you kind of played against the best teams in the country all season long but I also think it it, it leads you to a ton of humility um, you know uh, you know you get to see how potent uh, Every individual player is that's made it to the NCAA tournament, and every single team. Uh, it's all great teams. It's all cha you know the, the non-championship teams have kind of been whittled out, and so all that's left is big-time championship teams, and that's certainly being the case uh, when we play Duquesne on on Thursday. It's going to be two two championship-caliber teams going at it. All right, thanks, coach. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Let's go.